Right, hello again, I haven't done a video in a while. Just thought I'd do an update on the Provent 200. I've just stripped it off. I got some other things to do on the car, so I thought I'd check how I've done. I've done about seven to 8,000 mile. I've taken it off because I, if you look at the bottom of the Provent, there's like a drain for all the oil that it catches, and I had that going into a separate catch can. I noticed the pipe had split. So for the past, I, I, I checked it about a thousand mile ago. So a thousand mile, it's been like hanging half on and half off. So I thought I'd just give you a quick rundown what oil it's caught uh, and just to check the, the state of the filter to see if it's actually doing its job. So what I'll do is I'll take it apart now. I've not looked inside, so we'll find out together. Right, state of the filter. You can see she's a lot oilier than it was. If you watched the first video, you'll see that was shiny brand new. Now you can see in there it's clattered with oil. So that's obviously separating the oil. And it should have been before that split. Filter all the drips into this catch can. So So that's about up to there full. Don't know how much that is in mils, but I'll show you. That's off about seven or eight thousand miles. So imagine all that is going into your intake, causing your carbon buildup. So that's definitely doing its job. And like I say, that's been split for a thousand, maybe, maybe more. I don't know. Um, I know it's been leaking because I've seen the oil drip down the chassis leg uh, and onto the, the, the tray pan. So it's definitely doing its job. Highly recommend doing it. I've not, I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, if you, you're still getting some oil coming out of the outtake, but you know, it's definitely separating it. I mean, if I've got that much oil, you imagine that into vapor and coating the valves and all the shit that goes on in the, in the inside the engine so even if that's 60 percent it's a lot better than 100 percent going through isn't it so highly recommend that's just the um the knockoff version um found on ebay i think i give about 28 quid for it I'm not too sure the actual genuine one is a lot more i think it's almost 80 80 pounds so there's a big price difference in here uh i don't know if i can show you there was a modification i made to the spring um i don't know if i can show you now oh, see there i don't know if you can see i drew drilled three holes in the um in the outer side of that i don't know if you can see it that was to allow more airflow and I found I got better results with that. So if you're going to do it, make sure you drill them three holes. And then put it back together so it's nice and tight. Um, it's a bit sooty. I've just noticed that my um, DPF delete plate, the, the gasket had gone. So it's a good job I looked at it today. But look at it. Quite a good amount of oil saved. Highly recommend. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Any support is much appreciated. Thank you for watching.